Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 17, maybe, of Let's Play Legend of Zelda, uh, Majora's, no, <laughs> The Wind Waker. Um, we, we course past most of our days far away from our forest haven, raising new trees. Cool. Today's the day we return to our home for the annual ceremony, but poor Makar. Please, great swordsman, please save our brother Makar. I'll do my best, but I can't promise anything. Sorry to say. Right. Oh, this guy can be kind of helpful, uh, if you have an empty bottle, that is. Because basically what this guy does, um, he's got this whole dialogue here, but it goes on for, like, forever, so. Uh, yeah, basically if you give him these Boko Baba seeds, uh, these things, let's see. This source of the monster's plant magic is said to be the most helpful when mixed in proper quantities. Yeah, he needs four of those, and then he'll give you blue potion for that, but since I don't have an empty bottle, it wouldn't serve me much purpose right now. But it's good to know that's there. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm sorry, I haven't recorded this in quite a while, actually. Uh, right now it is November 22nd, I think, and the last time I rec recorded this. It might have been in October the last time I recorded this, which would be absolutely insane, but... Oh, man. Careful not to overshoot that one, because I've done that a few times myself. I'm not sure what determines it exactly, because it seems like sometimes you overshoot it and sometimes you don't. It's kind of random. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight! <laughs> I like the sound of that. But keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, you lose! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that's actually pretty much commonsensical. Don't shoot it in the wrong direction. Or else you might fall to your doom. <laughs> that's something that I've been, like, I don't know. Like, for the past hour, I'm not even kidding, for the past hour, I've been thinking of words that have, like, that sound. They're, like, short, usually four-letter words that have that sound in the middle, the double O sound, the oo. And it's just this weird, like, sound that you can make with... <laughs> I don't know. There's something so funny about that sound, I don't know what it is. What's this, though? Ooh, we got the Deku Leaf! Yeah, buddy, this uh, this item is awesome, I'm telling you right now. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at the objects and enemies. You can also use... you Jump and... Yeah. You can basically glide with it, which is really cool. You need magic to do it, though. Of course. Oh, Swordsman over here! Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Well, we could do that, and we probably will. Actually, we definitely will at some point, but right now I just want to try it out here. Let me just see. Is that this... Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Nothing special. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really, like, pressed A to read those item descriptions before, but it doesn't seem to be anything special. So, whatever. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so you can actually head up here, and there's a few ledges up, up around here. Uh, there's that one over there, but you don't actually ever have to go to that ledge, because I have a little trick that I'm going to show you. And if you don't use the trick, then it's a pretty big pain in the ass to get back up to that ledge, and then you'll fall all the way back down, and then you have to climb back up, and... Uh... Ooh. That looks a bit precarious. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, we got that island down there. And if we set the wind just right, we can fly to it. Yeah, but what was I talking I was talking about those words. Ooh, words. Oh my god. <laughs> like, there's words like moot. <sighs> moot. Yeah, that word moot. I've been hearing that word a lot lately. I don't know why. It's a fun word to say, though. Especially when you go like moot. Or moot. Or moot. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. It's so hard to describe. I can't even hardly do it myself sometimes. <laughs> oh, but then there's like moon. And there's like, uh, toot, and weed, uh, it's just, <laughs> it's the stupidest thing, I don't know why I was thinking about this for like an hour just now, but, <laughs> it's so funny to me, I don't know. Alright, oh hey, jeez, this guy's pants are way up there. Y you're incredible, did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever, hey, if you can fly, maybe you can hit that switch over there, huh, can you, huh, you can't see the switch, it's just over there, up to, it's up to, yeah. Don't you have a telescope, I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? Oh, let's see, I don't need a telescope. Oh, my. the grass blade is perfectly obstructing it. Oh, it's again. Okay. Yeah, there's like, it's hard to see. I, I could pull up my telescope, but there is a little bit of a switch up there. And we need a bow and arrow to hit that now, don't we? Well, no, actually you don't. I'm just trying to see if I can get any magic here. This grass always seems to drop magic, like just in one very concentrated spot and nowhere else. It's kind of weird. All right, here we go. Is this the spot? Oh, no. Well, I guess. Right, but no, the way you're supposed to hit that switch, actually, uh, I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way, but this is the way I'll, I've always done it. You use a Hyoi pair, and I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Is th I think this is the first time we've actually ever used a Hyoi pair, though, so yeah, you can control the seagull, which is so freaking cool. 
There's always a way to control like one animal in some in the Zelda games, and it's always so fun and funny to do. That opens that up, so that's cool. It also drops down the ladder, so you don't actually have to climb the Forest Haven every time you want to come to this island, which is very nice. I've got like three hours to record here. I might just record Wind Waker for three whole hours. That would be crazy. I wonder how far I can get in three hours. Hell, I could practically beat the game in three hours. Well, no, <laughs> but I could get pretty far. All right, what is this place? Oh man, can't tell you how many times I've talked to this guy. Welcome to the tropical island paradise of Isle Delfino, to the, or to the Nintendo, Nintendo Gallery. Uh, is this your first time here? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction? I hope. <laughs> You're one member. Like seriously, does this guy even have any members? Uh, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? Uh, no, but I'm sure you're about to tell me. Pictographs, yep. Yeah, so basically what this guy's gonna do... <laughs> it, it steals my breath away. You can bring him pictographs of, like, monsters and stuff and other characters, and he'll make them into figurines. But they actually have to be, uh, color pictographs. You know, color pictures! So, our pictobox won't work right now. And that that's where this four fireflies gonna come in later. I'll show that, uh, soon enough. Uh, what do you say, buddy? I think this guy's name is Manny, actually. So you remember this whole time? Awesome! Hey, thanks to you, I got in and became a member too. You, you weren't a member before? So this guy literally had zero members before just now, and he was just trapped down here. Crazy. Now, if you actually look back, there's some cool stuff back there. Up up on the top shelf, there's some stuff, I think. I think that might be spoilers for this game, actually. But on the wall over there, there's actually a... Uh, Little Majora's Mask reference. There's the Bunny Hood and the All Knights Mask and the Goron Mask and the Keaton Mask. I wonder what this guy would do with a Goron Mask. What could you do with a Goron Mask in a world of water? <laughs> you could do, like, just about nothing. Okay, uh, where's the mainland? It's over there. So I'm just gonna jump and swim. Mm, I should be able to make this without drowning. I hope. Oh, my, my cat is freaking out over there. I don't know what she wants. Uh, I gave her everything. I gave you food. I gave you water. I gave you love and I gave you care. The only thing I didn't give you is clean underwear. And cats don't need clean underwear. So, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Uh, but you know what I was saying uh, way back earlier in this video? About how was there, the, there was that other ledge. Like the highest ledge inside the forest haven. And how it would be a big pain in the ass to climb all the way back up there. And have to like just... I don't know, basically what it would do is it would be another ledge that you could fly down from and you could get to um, a certain island that has a treasure chart on it. But there's actually an easier way to get to that island. Kill this guy, by the way. He's going to be a big pain in the ass if you don't kill him right now. Trust me. <laughs> it might not be obvious what I'm thinking of right now, but trust me, you'll see it in a second. Alright, yeah, so you normally would have to climb all the way up to that ledge and then fall back down and then climb all the way up again to progress with the story. But here's where my trick comes in. And you want to grab onto this, but don't let go. You don't swing and let go. You just stop here and climb it. And you climb and climb and climb. And eventually, you can actually climb on top of this, which is really cool. And I'm going to get out my telescope just to show you this. Uh, yeah, you can see that over there. That's where our treasure chart is, is in that chest. So if you went up to that ledge, uh, can I see the ledge from here? Uh, yeah, there's the ledge that you would emerge from, and you could just fly down to there. And all be well and dandy. You could do it that way. But since we're up here now, if you actually change the direction of the wind to make it perfect for your needs, or for your knees, and it looks like we have to be south. It's a good thing I thought to change the wind. Sometimes I completely forget to change the wind when using this Deku Leaf. And, yeah, we pull that out. And we should have just enough distance to make this. I've made it before, so I know it's possible. Just make sure you have full magic, otherwise you probably won't make it. And there you go. <laughs> that's how you bypass that, so that's good. Oh, and I didn't spoil what was in this chest at all. No, of course not. You cat! Oh my goodness, she is freaking out. Okay, she's just gonna sit on my lap for now. Hope you guys don't mind my cat guest commentating again. Jeez. <laughs> this is crazy. I should be doing homework now that I think about it. Alright, and um... I think you would probably drown if you tried to swim back to shore. So what I do is I change the direction of the wind again. I know. <laughs> I know this, this is kind of already redundant, this song, but... Just bear with me on this. 
You're gonna be playing this a lot throughout the game, so maybe even more than the Song of Soul Ring in Majora's Mask. That's a tall order. And then you can just fly back here and fly back. Oh, there's gonna be a Deku Baba here, isn't there? On this platform. Oh, I hope he doesn't kill me. Oh no, he's pretty far away, so that's fine. Yeah, but then here's where it, my commentary ties back in again. Yeah, see, I'm looping my commentary back to itself. If you didn't kill this guy that was here, he would not—he would fuck you up hardcore. This deck above that was right here, because basically the time it takes Link to climb this ledge is just enough time for him to rear up and attack you and knock you back down to the ledge below. So, and basically you just get in an infinite loop and you can't get back up. Well, you can, but. Uh, it takes a lot of... You need to take damage, basically, to get back up. And it's really kind of tricky to pull off. So I'd just say, kill him and don't worry about it. Alright, now, do I want to do this? Uh, I was thinking of... Because I'm trying to decide here. I think I'm going to... Just to be different, this is going to be so stupid, but... Oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry if this commentary has been coming across, like, really just haphazard and weird. Like I said, I haven't recorded in some time, but that's no excuse. No excuse now. Come on. Uh, mute. <laughs> mute point. Mute. So you can do like a really sharp one, like mute point or mute. Like a rounded one. Dude, that boat has the biggest mouth I've ever seen when he yawns. Alright, but what I'm going to do now, actually, this is going to be so weird because I know a lot of people just want me to get on with the dungeon. But... I'm actually going to go and sail on back to Windfall Island. I am not kidding you. There is some business to attend to on Windfall. And I kind of want to get that out of the way right now. <laughs> so, this is going to be so weird. We might, not, we might not get to the dungeon for a few episodes yet. Even though we have all the things necessary to get there, actually. Like, I probably could have gotten there by the end of this video. Even though we're up to, like, 12 minutes now. So, I'm going to have to end it off soon. But I want to do some stuff on Windfall, so bear with me here and we will get through this, I promise. <laughs> 